What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make muzzle flashes inside of After Effects. You can do this in pretty much any software. Um, as long as it has like a screen blending mode, you can just go in and change some of the settings and stuff. However, it is hard to do smoke when, you know, it's a handheld shot. Tracking is very important when it comes to, uh, you know, actual uh, having, having things look like they're in your shot. First thing we're going to do if we want to track our footage is we're going to get a layer. Now remember, you don't really necessarily need to use Adobe After Effects, but it is really good for this kind of stuff. So, you're going to go to your null object, and a null object is just an entity. It's not really there. Click on it, you're going to go to Effects. Alright, now Effect is pretty important. You know, this is where you can get all your stuff, like color correction, and all this really cool stuff. Now, Boris FX Mocha is actually a really cool... Basically, it's this kind of software built into After Effects where you can track things. There's three th ways to track things, but this is a pretty good method. Um, there's other ways to track things, so... And then you just click right here on the Mocha. It's going to take a second to load up. So, if it says that, don't press cancel or anything. Just let it do its thing, and it should open. You're going to see all this, probably. So, once you're here, layout might be a little different. It could be set to Essentials. It could be sent to Classic. But uh, I usually use essentials. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a point with a lot of detail. Something that isn't too flat and something that stays in frame always. So what I'm gonna do is for the best possible track, I think I'm gonna track over there. We're gonna wanna click on this tool right here and we're gonna have to just draw out where. Now remember, you only really need to do this uh, if it's a handheld shot. Let's see if that looks good. Mm. So far, it looks like it's actually able to track it really well. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, so if it tracks well like that, uh, you can save it here. So it's pretty good. So you're going to go to tracking data. Now remember, all this stuff is just you getting prepared to actually start doing your stuff. This is also pretty important. So you're going to go to create track data. Layer 1. And then corner pin, you're going to make that transform. And then layer, you're going to make that null. So it's selecting the null object. So basically what you just did is you just put all the tracking data that we got from Mocha and it put it in the null object. So now anything we throw in here, for example, the gun smoke, and we, we can take the lasso tool, drag it to the null, or we can select it here, and drag it to the null. This is useful for um, when you have a lot of effects. So you know you can just use this as a little shortcut. It probably shoots right around here. We're gonna get our muzzle flash, our RPK front. You can get muzzle flashes from anywhere. You can type in muzzle flash in YouTube, make sure it's behind a black background, um, you can type in muzzle flashes, uh, you know, on the Google search bar, you'll get muzzle flashes and stuff. Um, just make sure it doesn't look cartoony, stuff like that, but you can also go, I'm gonna leave some links in the description of, um, websites you can go to to get effects. There's Action VFX, there's Detonation Films, there's Video Copilot, there's a lot of places you can go to get them. Now, some might be pricey, some may cost money. But you can always just go to YouTube or Google and type in muzzle flash. Always remember to make your muzzle flash only one frame long. One frame long. That's all it should be. This is pretty important. If your muzzle flash has a black background, or even in general like mine has, you always want to, no matter what, right click on it, go to blending modes, and then go to screen right here. Screen makes it look so much better. And when you don't do screen, it makes it not look like it blends in. It makes it look really bad. A lot of people may think muzzle flashes are tiny. Uh, or whatever. Muzzle flashes are actually huge because you gotta think, it's a ton of expanding gases shooting out a tiny tube. There is so much. I'm gonna post some reference photos right now. Those are real muzzle flashes. Now, yes, they might be in dim lighting, but those are real muzzle flashes. And you wanna kinda keep the size around roughly the size of the gun. You know, that, that's a good size for you know, a shotgun. Now, you don't need to track the muzzle flash itself because it's only one frame long it's such a short effect there's you wouldn't see it move at all so we're gonna drag it down there and it looks pretty good so far that looks pretty good because it's bright outside and it's kind of you know afternoon ish you can go to effects and you can go to blur and sharpen and you can actually go to gosh and blur now gosh and blur what it does is exactly the name it blurs things like that and as you can see now that looks pretty good um for you know outside so what you can do is because it's kind of dark you can expand the glow like that. Like that looks pretty cool. And you're gonna uh, duplicate it by pressing Control D, which I've done here. And then you press like reset or something. And look at that. It adds so much more glow. As you can see, it looks really nice. So that's something cool that you can do if you want. Remember, muzzle flashes aren't you know dim unless they're in bright lighting. They are usually bright. You will see all white usually inside of them. So it's like it's you know it's it's pretty um 
They're pretty bright. We're gonna take our smoke in. We're gonna drag it underneath. We're gonna have it right about the barrel. Right about the barrel. Extended that. We're gonna, you know, by the time it's out, the smoke is gonna be ready. It's gonna be done. So we'll have it like that. We're gonna track it to the null. Now, as you can see, that looks pretty good. But it looks like um, it's kind of weird. So we're gonna press that to make it blend better. And also, what we're gonna do is we are going to add some motion blur right here. And that makes it look pretty realistic. And then we can actually change the opacity by going into the transform settings and then turning that down. That looks pretty good. And then you can actually uh, go to s uh, s time stretch. And by lowering the time, 50 could be good. Um, it'll actually speed it up, which makes it look a lot better. This is how to add light. Obviously, because of how bright this muzzle flash is, it would be affecting the environment a ton. Alright, so this is a pretty bright muzzle flash. So we're going to duplicate our base footage. Alright, and we're going to go... We're going to... Okay, let me just show you this shortcut. Okay, now that we've duplicated it, we're going to hold Alt. And we're going to press right bracket. And then we're going to press the other bracket. But then, boom, we have duplicated footage. If we right click on it, and we go to blending mode, and we go Throwing to add. Flashback. It'll make everything super bright. Now that's good, because if we go to this pen tool, we can start masking out areas. Start masking out where would the light be. So, I mean, that looks pretty, pretty bad, but here's the thing. We go here, go to mask, and we just turn up. Boom, look at that, that looks so nice. That looks pretty realistic. So let's keep masking around things that would have you know brightness to them. Now you see it's not just one frame that I put it to, it's two. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go to mask. We're gonna actually turn this all the way down. Alright, now let's go to transform. And transform is pretty important because that's where you can scale, rotate, change the opacity and everything. So what we're gonna do is see this little stopwatch? By opacity we're gonna click on that now what that's gonna do is we're, that's gonna enable stop keyframes if you don't know what a keyframe is uh, it's basically like animating about 50% this will leave a nice like fade out it's pretty cool looking that's pretty much the basics for a muzzle flash um, we could do, go in more depth if you guys want like a more advanced tutorial of like uh, heat waves and stuff like that I can't do that um, but if you guys want like a slow motion tutorial, uh, kind of muzzle flash things, I could do that because those are pretty cool. Uh, I can do blood hit tutorials, um, bullet hit tutorials on like concrete, and sand, and all kinds of cool stuff. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you guys have any questions, um, put them down in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer all of them. All right, goodbye.